parents they they give birth to children because they know they maybe they, they they didn't have chance to to like make it in life <laughs> so it's from the tribe that does bull fighting yeah they also do cock fighting yeah and uh they also do wife wife fighting, fighting yeah. yeah so how does the wife fighting up in Charlix? Okay, what germans believe is like okay i don't know i can't say everyone and every single person but we, like what i know how i grew up is like children are our next generation they're the most important generation because they're still young and so i'm gonna tell you guys how the society has failed me as a man eh? but i still have questions for you guys lenny quick one parking lot question are you ready for the challenge do it for Respect. the camera you that's know? true we can like, kiss yes we, we are, don't there's mind some reels that we yes we don't small, mind it's not like that yeah, but there's a part like where you okay we show but you guys i'm hanging out with alan alan from kakamega tell people your name my name is Alex. So Alex. Yeah, from Ecolomani. He's from Ecolomani. So he's from the tribe. I was telling you guys about the tribes in Kenya. He's from the tribe that does bull fighting. Yeah, they also do cock fighting. Yeah. And uh, they also do wife wife fighting. Yeah. yeah. So how does the wife fighting up in Alex? There's wife fighting. Yeah. <laughs> wife two wives. Alex, how but when you marry two wives, you, they, they fight. Yeah, they fight. So what? that the hmm? would how, yeah. how do, when do how and when do you determine when the wives fight in the village? The, the winner will be also respected. But how do you decide the day of the fight? You know, when you have two wives, mm. one will dislike another one. Mm -hmm. So there will be a competition. Mm -hmm. So you want them to to be together to, together. Mm. So you just in the morning, the people are there. The, watching. The, the watching. But Alex, if you are able to marry two wives, don't you think you should be able to sit them down and uh, explain to them the need for respect? Why do you have to have them fight? As they, they, they also there is a uh, competition. You see the competition there. The culture. Do you think it's, the culture? Do it's you not the culture, but the competition. How would you feel if your mother was put in the field to battle with another woman and they beat her? I'd be okay. Or your it, daughter. I feel okay because why? of the uh, uh, why. I feel okay because when you marry two wives, one should respect another one. The second one, the second one must respect the first one. But they have to fight to respect each other. Yeah, do oh. some whistling, wrestling, wrestling. Yeah, table wrestling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this guy is from the bull culture. I hope we will able to, to go. To... Yeah, thank you. Zero seven. Seventeen. Forty-eight. Mm -hmm. Vin is tipping him for coming from a culture of bullfighting. Lenny, what's your take on that? On bullfighting or wife? On wife fighting. If Vin has you guys as two wives, you have to fight to gain the respect. The problem starts somewhere. There's no second wife. Drink soda. Yeah, I saw Alex. Thank you very much. We hope to come to your country. Mama, 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 the second wife, the one because of the trouble. The second wife. No. I go there to see the fight. I think I don't know about that. So you said the problem is there's no second wife. Yes, because I don't believe in that. I don't think it's a good thing. Yes, you should only have one wife and treat her right. Vin. What's your take on wife fighting? Wife fighting? Uh. For them, I think that's their culture. So, but yeah. I don't think it's a good thing because then, if you want a second wife, instead of fighting, you just have to talk and uh, it's a matter of respect, you know. Uh, okay, so we decided that we're gonna have this partner, so you, I'm having two wives. But I want you guys to stay in a healthy relationship, love each other, you know. Like you both are all, all my wife, so no fighting, no just respect, you know. Everyone yes. should respect each other. I think so too. In case Instead of fighting. Yeah, in case of deciding for having two wives, yeah. uh you should sit down and do it in a respectful way. 
to yeah. figure out the family constellation and, yeah, exactly. and what, the rules oh, and everything. Let's talk about the circumstances for a second wife. About what? This, the circumstances. circumstances for going for a second wife. I don't know. In you know, an, uh, and you don't know. <laughs> Huh? Uh, me, I, I don't know. I don't believe in that. I, I didn't grow up that this is okay. It's it, even illegal in Germany. It's illegal. Yes. To have it's two illegal. wives. Yes. For real. Yes. It's in the law. Yes, it's in the law. It's illegal. Think, to have two for real. Yes. I think I heard of this, but uh, I think in an African setting, that's to bring you to light. One, uh, there were so many reasons why a man would have a second wife. Mm -hmm. One of them is if uh, the first wife was not able to give birth. But the question for me has always been, how do you establish that the problem is not the man and it is the woman? True, it can be the man as well. And you know, for us, we believe you're together with someone because of love, not because of the ability of giving birth. And there are so many other ways there. If you want to have children, there is adoption. There is, uh, there is the, these clinics, they can help you to get pregnant even though you have difficulties with it. Like there are so many ways. So. And, so, and so it takes us to the conversation of... Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Alex. You're having a call. Uh, I think it's important. Let me call back in a few. Okay. Yeah, so that takes us to the conversation of how is, how are children treated in your culture and how are the children treated in his culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a child is a sign of what in that case? In our case. Yeah, like in, culturally, how do you guys treat a child as? So I think we only have children when we're ready for it, when we can, like not all the cases, like of course you can get pregnant and you haven't planned it but uh, what we what Germans believe is like okay I don't know I can't say everyone and every single person but we, like what I know how I grew up is like children are our next generation they're the most important generation because they're still young and we want to give them the best future ever we want to provide everything for them Vini in our culture about, about I might add on to it how we treat children. Like, what is what does chi what does children, children means to us? Yes, what do they represent? Because for us, uh, most of uh, maybe me, I'll talk uh, in terms of my family. Because mm -hmm. uh, you know, for our parents, they they give back to children because they know they maybe they, they they didn't have chance to to like make it in life. <laughs> so when they give back to so many kids, they believe one kid or two will be successful and they will help them in know? so well, it's a, retirement money yeah, yeah in summary so in summary it, sh it's like, it should be called wealth they yeah, are sign yeah. of wealth yes mm -hmm. yes so like we just have so many kids because we know that uh, someday we are looking we are looking up to these kids to to have a good life and to help us back so yeah i would say like that yeah, the other thing I think learning in our culture is uh, you'll be treated with respect in regards to if you have many, kids. Yeah. yeah, we know of people who've been actually been bullied and uh, they've been, uh, how do you say it? They've been bullied and uh, they've been... There's a word here, Vin. Help me find it. Harassed? Harassed, uh, but... Um, Elected. Yeah, they've been. Uh, there's this word here. They've been stigmatized. Oh, stigmatized. Yeah, because they don't have kids. Yeah. You are not treated with respect if you don't have children, yes. and so yes. uh, children give you status in the community as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's so true. <clears throat> that was one of the reasons. If if the wife, the first wife, could not bear children, but there are still a lot of questions to it. Because I've known, I know of cases, do you guys want to know of this story? Mm -hmm. I've known of cases of where a man cannot produce and then they bash, they stigmatize the woman and then uh, they give, they allow this man to marry the second wife. And then the second wife is not able to give birth. So the mother of the man realizes that his son, her son is the problem 
so he convinces another man to sleep with the second wife of the man oh. so they can cover up for the shame in the family you you got the story Lynn? Uh, yeah it's yeah tough. very sad but then what happens and is it will be the first wife she will be blamed huh? the first wife is still blamed but in 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 so doing the first wife realizes that the second wife had cheated to get children she and the and the mother-in-law helped her so because of the stigma and she wants to retaliate she also cheats and sires children actually twins so what happened in this case is their next door neighbor they had genetics for twins so she had cheated with them. <laughs> and it came out listen listen so she had cheated with one of the sons of the next door neighbors and then she had twins that looked like the next door neighbors <laughs> That's crazy. so then this man thumps his chest and he says oh i've sired kids that are twins as the kids grow they look like the neighbor you see so then this man, um, the other man who gave birth with uh, the first child, with the second wife, decides to claim his children. The his one kids. For, with the second wife? Yes. Mm -hmm. And so he takes even the second wife. He takes the second wife and the children? Yes. So the second wife agrees to go with him. And that's why I'm telling you, kids also come as a sign of respect. Because this, this second wife could not respect the man because he was not able to sire children with him. Yeah. You understand? Yes. So then they decide and uh, live with the other one because he has his children. But then what happens with the first wife, the first wife sees this case and now the other man, he, he, she decides that she wants to be with the other man who gave her twins. And so the man hanged himself. So he was found hanging himself. He killed himself. That's sad. Very unfortunate. The second reason would be if um, the wife is not sexually active and the man is sexually active. And uh, usually in most cases, uh, you would find that they would end up fighting a lot. So then there would be an agreement for the man to get a younger wife who's sexually active. What's your take on that, Lee? Uh, I, I think, I don't know. I think if you're having a healthy relationship, you're working on it, uh, you can find a way for that in your relationship. Mm. Vin? And I think, uh, sexual activity doesn't depend on age yes. it depends on the relationship you have with your partner and how you cultivate that into intimacy yes right so in this case we what we are learning is that we've been lied to it's always not the woman's fault you have to turn your woman on to be able to she's yes. not a horse you just don't jump on her like that she's think, gonna fight i think there are so many men they don't know that that you know women they can like they can feel pleasure as well and they can enjoy this as well but uh, men they are just focused on themselves and like this it won't work you know you have to understand your woman you have to take care of your woman as well that's true <laughs> <laughs> We are waiting for more from you, Vin. About what? Whatever we were talking about. No, no, me, I agree with you guys. I just... She's right. I don't have a lot to say, but uh, it's true. Like, uh, I'm not saying every man, but most of men, they, they focus on themselves, but they don't understand. The, the women, too, they, they want to be satisfied. And, uh, yeah, they need... They need the sexual, not only sexual, but you need to uh, make them, you know, feel the intimacy. Yes. You are talking to a young Vin. I know these are not conversations that we have often, yeah. but I think the purpose of our, our YouTube channels is to inspire, teach, learn and share, right? Yes. Uh, I mean, commonly around those areas. But you're talking to a young Vin who 
who thumps his chest on being really sexually good to a woman but really doesn't understand intimacy what would you tell them intimacy is intimacy is like uh, to like understand your woman and uh, yeah don't don't think about yourself you know give them time and uh, yeah like you know be be patient with them and uh, just to 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 make them feel uh, attracted to you you know something like that and not only through the sexual activity but you know you just have to make your woman like understand that your woman comes first yes mm. <laughs> i mean i don't mean come but i mean come first <laughs> yes generally i think literally that it also what would mean let your woman come first you don't want to come <laughs> lenny your understanding of intimacy as a woman you are talking to a young vin who's yet to really understand you know i know vin understands you but who's yet to understand you but does not understand you and you want to communicate to them what would you tell them that a woman wants or what is it that a woman prefers or that's uh, i think First of all, intimacy starts with communication and it's very important because you have to know what you need, you have to know what your partner needs, you have to understand the boundaries of your partner as well, you can't force things so it's really important to communicate about what you need, where, where your limits are and if you figure it out and if you figure it out together you can't figure it out alone you have to figure it out with your partner if you figure it out together you can have a really beautiful intimacy so first and foremost communication yes mm -hmm. that's it and it's it's okay to say no it's okay to to express your needs it's it, everything is allowed you just have to talk about it and you have to figure it out together you know like this can't be forced you you work on it together you work it out you find your ways and when both are comfortable 100 percent that's the best you can achieve i did a, a conversation with john around this and uh one thing that i noticed is uh uh, there's a, a, a subscriber of mine who say a lot of women are kind. So what they do is, oh, they say, yes, you make me happy. Yes, you are the best. But in real sense, they just want to be kind to this person. What is it that puts a woman in a position of just saying yes to even things that are not yes? Maybe also the fear of being rejected or, or mm. like... Uh, mm. Rejection first. Uh -huh. I would say maybe rejection from the partner or disappointing the partner maybe. Uh, yes, but um, I think you have to be able to express your boundaries mm. uh, to to enjoy to to enjoy intimacy. Mm. Then in a society that does not take a, year, a no for an answer or a rejection for an answer. How do you take a no? You just have to accept, you know, like if you're a person who doesn't like to accept a, a no or something like that, you know, you just have to respect other people's uh, decision, you know, you can't force them to, to say yes, you know, and uh, yeah, I feel like now, nowadays mo most of the people, they 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 don't they don't accept rejection and uh, it's so sad because that's why that's why you, you find most of the people they they it leads to raping and stuff like that of which it's so sad but uh, you have to take care of I'm not uh, speaking for only humans but you know the society like at it large seems, yeah it, as the society at large the way Vic said and that uh, you know in this uh, society it's known that women are help helpless you know so we have to take care of them and uh, we have to accept their decision and also them they have to accept our decision you know so it's both of us in large as well in closing this but conversation yeah in closing this conversation 
I know you guys as a power couple to the globe at large. Yes. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what is it that you've identified as the power of your human that has enlightened you to be the man that you are to her today? The power of what? The power of your woman that you've identified that has guided you into being the man that you are to her, not you are to her. You are to her today. I don't know how to answer this question, <laughs> uh, but uh, mostly I would say communication. Communication. Yes, communication and uh, understanding each other. Mm. You know, so, yeah. Basically that, right? Yes. That's your power. Lenny. Thank you. Lenny, in a society, I mean, now you're technically Kenyan, mm -hmm. and it's a society where women are competing with men, not complimenting men, and men are competing with women, which is such a shame. I don't think uh, with the power of the woman, we should compete with the woman. Yes. How have you been able to be in a position where you know Vince's place? or where you give Vin his uh, place and he gives you his place. Because my society can be a very negatively influential society. And if you're not careful, you might get advice from people who either are misleading you or misempowering you. How have you been able to curb this? Uh, so first of all, I think we are all individuals. Mm -hmm. individuals. So I think the best thing you can do for your relationship is to put each other first and don't listen too much to the society, don't listen, listen too much to your parents, don't listen too much to your friends because what matters is you and your partner and it really depends on the person you are with what, what he needs or what she needs so I, there's this, I don't know the guy, the guy you always like to watch, he's from the US, he has this television show. I saw like a quote from him, like uh, a short video, he was saying a marriage is a two-handed handed circle. You shouldn't let anyone in, no one, not your parents, not your family, not your friends, it's between you two. Like, and the partnership is working like that. The moment you let other people in, you're risking your partnership, you're bringing bad influences because no one can tell you what's right for you. The only person who can, who, who can work it out with you is your partner. No one else. It's called Steve, Steve Harvey. Harvey. Yes. Harvey. Yeah, Steve yes. Harvey. Yeah. Vin, how has our society failed us as men? Hey. As we close the show. How? Has our society failed us as men? Failed. Failed. Yeah. I don't know how to answer that. To me fail you are then a society to come out no woman. Like what is what are the things that you had to figure out yourself as a man that you wish the society taught you about? I don't know. <laughs> Lenny don't know. Lenny, how has your society failed you as a woman? I'm actually also not so sure how to answer that because um, in my society, in my environment where I grow up, it's like the empowerment of women is a big topic and like the equality of women. So I was raised to always take care of myself and never let anyone tell me what I can do or what I cannot do. Like I'm, I can do whatever I want to, like I can achieve, I can achieve anything. And it doesn't, uh, my, my, that I'm being a woman, that mm. doesn't define what I can achieve in life. So, yeah, I think my society has been doing kind of good. Okay, <laughs> oh, me, me, yeah. for me, now I get the question. Well, thank you. Uh, Go ahead. Because I was thinking, for me, I think the society has failed us because, uh, you know, they feel they, it's like men are not supposed to be emotional and, uh, Men are not supposed to to cry. They Men are not be supposed vulnerable. to be yeah. Yes, they are supposed to be strong, and I feel like that's where the society has failed us a lot. Because you know, you can't you can't show your feelings. You, mm. Even if you're going through tough time, 
you're a man you need to be strong and so what's your definition of strength strength mm -hmm. uh, my definition of strength <laughs> as a man as a man because you're just redefining strength from what the society have taught us has taught us over the years right yes yeah so what is it it's, it's, it's allowed to to be emotional yeah a strong man cries yes, a strong man expresses himself a strong man communicates yes. so a quick question as we close any closing remarks then i ask my challenging question subscribe yeah, subscribe to Victor. Subscribe. Yes, uh, thank you very much. I yeah. appreciate. And let us know what you think about this uh, on the comment uh, section. Yeah, I think this is the first uh, intense. I mean, we we have intense conversations, but this is the first online intense conversation we've yeah. had. I'm so proud of you guys, and I'm happy to see you guys uh, thrive and glow and smile. Uh, Same. I'm waiting to see you guys kiss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That it is. Yeah, this is the part that we... <laughs> A lot of people are always commenting that, but I don't know. For us, it's we love to kiss. No, yeah, we it's... actually kiss a lot. I don't know. Vic is always telling us, "Ah, you guys." Will... Yeah, when I'm hanging out, well, I love it. It's not like you know, you know, I love it. Yeah, Vic yeah. was making jokes about it, but our subscribers they're telling us you're not kissing. But you know, how yeah, this we, guy kiss how... a lot. How weird is it to hold your phone and kiss? This guy like, kiss a lot. Like wait, when wait. I'm, even when I'm driving them, they are constantly kissing each other. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah so, so we're never kiss judge. Off camera. Yeah, never it's, judge. It feels weird this, to do it for the camera. You know? That's true. We can like, kiss. Yes, we, we uh, don't there's mind. Some reels that we yes, kiss, we don't you know, mind. It's not like that. Yeah, but there's a part like where you okay, we show, but just have to respect. Yes. Yeah, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed that conversation. I've been having, I've been hanging out with these guys. I was out of town, just came back. So, and uh, I love having conversations with them and I love them. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to their channel, go check out Vin and Lenny. Amazing things coming. Where we are sitting here right now, I'm not going to disclose. Uh, but amazing things coming from Vin and Lenny. Go and subscribe to their YouTube channel. And drop a comment on the comment uh, section. Uh, last, as we close. So I'm going to tell you guys how the society has failed me as a man. Eh? But I still have questions for you guys. Lenny, quick one. Parking lot question. Are you ready for the challenge? Five plus five? Ten. Vin, two plus two? Four. For the both of you, one plus one? Two. Vin and Lenny. <laughs> one, <laughs> one plus one? One plus one, two. Yeah, I think that's where the society has failed me as a man. Because now you think when Vin and Lenny comes together, it's Vin on his own, Lenny on his own. Everybody is his person, but when you come together, it's... One. one. So one oh, plus one? One. Vin and, that's what I said. I hope one you guys enjoyed this comment. <laughs> this... <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this content and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Adios! Adios!